Hey there guys, Zach with 1918 British Air Force. Uh, again, uh, kind of the same night, but um, this is going to be counting for my April, <laughs> May 23rd uh, vlog. Um, it is currently 2.07 a.m. and uh, I wanted to talk about Halo, I guess. Um, particularly the last two games in the series made by Bungie, at least. Um, that would be Halo ODST uh, and Halo Reach. Um, and I, I just want to talk about how um, they affected, not exactly, I don't know, affected, uh, affected my, uh, excuse me, my, my psyche towards the franchise. Um, uh, I, I'm sure a lot of you who are going to watch this uh, have at least played the game, or definitely have heard of it, I'm sure. Um, but basically, Halo, you... Well, in the first three games, you follow uh, Master Chief, and he is defeating the Covenant wherever he goes uh, and bringing order back to the galaxy, even though they're trying to start up some super weapons. Essentially, it. Um, yeah, while it is an epic and interesting storyline, um, it's uh, in, in the same vein that, like, uh, the Odyssey is an epic storyline uh, where you have a singular hero who uh, by the end of this series, especially in Halo 3, is kind of broken and kind of uh, just <laughs> ready to stop. I mean, it, it's never said, Halo, the Master Chief never says that, but he, uh, by the end of the book, you can tell by his armor and just, um, I, I guess mainly by his armor, it's all scratched up. It's, it, it, it's basically a piece of shit. <laughs> By now, he's very, he's basically held together by duct tape. Uh, he he's ready to stop. He, he's ready to end this. Um, he's ready to stop. I mean, he's I don't know how to describe it. Like he's willing to do anything to save the planet backslash galaxy, but it's just it's so apparent to me by the end of the uh, game that like by the end of the third game, he's just like relieved to be floating in space and not landing on yet another uh, ring <laughs> which if you ask me that's probably gonna end up happening to him uh, later on um, the, I can't remember the other production studios that picked it up after Bungie um, but it's it's I, I don't know I don't know how I feel but anyways uh, Halo ODST and Halo uh, Reach um, feel like a love note to the uh, gaming populace or to the people that really respect the Halo storyline. Um, I really loved Halo ODST because they toned down the uh, ridiculousness of being a Spartan. Like it, it gave you a different point of view. It, it made things scary again. <laughs> uh, I mean, I remember playing the first Halo game and like getting my ass beat, uh, trying to play it on hard or something like that, and getting my ass beat by hunters, and, you know, by the third one, I was, like, breezing through it on, well, not breezing through it, but I, I knew the ropes by, uh, by playing on Legendary on the third one, but then it's, you're weaker, you're a human, you're no longer a, uh, superpower, you're no longer, uh, above human, you are on the same level of everybody else, who's fighting these things. Uh, you do have a shield, though. Uh, I wish they didn't give you a shield. I wish it was... Wait, no. No, it was a stamina. Yeah, it was stamina. I, I, I don't know if I like stamina. I think if uh, they wanted to keep it a little bit tougher, um, they should have just kept the uh, health and none of that stamina red screen type shit. But um, it, it was very much... Um, a different take on the whole universe of Halo, and Halo is a universe. I mean, I've I've read most of the books, um, at least all the Eric Nyland books. All of them are fantastic. Um, if you if you only read one, read uh, Fall of Reach because it does give you more backstory in Master Chief's life, and it's very it's very cool. Um, then. Uh, I don't know. Also, Halo ODST had uh, Nathan Fillion in it, and you could make uh, your firefight voice be Nathan Fillion, 
and I like that a lot because I am a big Firefly nerd and a big uh, house, or not house, castle nerd. <laughs> uh, really love Nathan Fillion. I think he does fantastic work, and uh, the hammer is my penis. You guys got that reference. High five. High five. Come on. I know you want to. No? Okay. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Um, and then we have Halo Reach, which um, also gave you a completely different perspective on being um, a Spartan. You're no longer the last one. You have a team. There is people around you of the same quality that um, I think that's the two things I really like that uh, about the uh, two games is that there's no you're no longer the here you're no longer the lone hero you're no longer the lone wolf there's somebody by your side um to share in that experience with you and um i i, I don't know maybe i'm thinking about this because it's Re, uh, restrepo uh, i talk about this in my other blog my last blog um uh, about the brotherhood that is born within war and death and um for some i i think it captures that pretty well, you know. The um, at least, I mean, cheesily, yes. It's a it's a form of entertainment, not real life, but it's uh, it captures that the the moments of uh, true terror that war brings uh, into uh, you know someone's life or no. no how to describe it. it it brings that camaraderie that comes from war um into an experience you can feel without actually you know being within war uh it's it's interesting and i, I don't know if i if i'd ever really want to feel like i mean putting that 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 trust into somebody i mean uh, with a lot of co-op games you end up killing your best friend on purpose for giggles but like uh, if you, the way Bungie incorporated that in both those games, um, especially with Halo Reach, um, one of the main characters dies, and uh, one one of the Spartan twos who uh, are better than the Spartan threes because you are playing a Spartan three. Uh, once again, I can't remember which book they bring in Spartan threes. It might have been um, First Strike, where they start talking about them. And that's also written by Eric Nyland. And uh, Spartan 3s are um, fascinating. They're uh, not as good as Spartan 2s. But the Spartan 2 dies, and it's very emotional. And it's, um, I don't know, I always feel like I'm being a pussy. But it's it's one of those moments in video games I'll, I will always remember. Like, as, as much as uh, Call of Duty... Um, is sorta about that like I like it, even getting burnt to death in uh, the second game uh, one, being the main uh, one of the main characters being burnt to death and watching it it didn't affect me nearly as much as Halo Reach did when uh, the giant fucking threw me out of <laughs> the spaceship so I could survive uh, it's just and oh god Oh god, that moment's ridiculous too, because he throws you out of the spaceship, and then um, as you're falling, <laughs> and he blows up the supercarrier, like 12 more come out of hyperspace, you're like fuck, <laughs> and you re-enter. It's it, it's one of the moments in video games that will always like stick out in my mind. Like um, later on down the road, like w what was in the 2000s that really affected you when playing video games um, I'd have to say that's one of the moments uh, it's it really is uh, emotional and I think I think uh, with the single player at least that's the way Bungie wanted it like it, it was to wrap up the feeling of um, this is this is ours and I, I dare you to uh, do better whoever's doing it now I'm not sure uh, what was the other thing um, the end the last mission of uh, Halo Reach is also fantastic where uh, you're uh, you, you lose <laughs> uh, you have no way of not losing um, you're and it shows you kicking a lot of ass 
sure, but I mean, you lose. <laughs> And it's it's fascinating. It's it's a cool watch, um, and once again, it it tells you that um, there's always somebody there assisting Master Chief because you're you're the one that gets uh, Cortana to the Pillar of Autumn, and without Cortana, Master Chief couldn't have done anything. And it's, it's it brings Master Chief down to a level with of without being so ridiculous, you know. Uh, I think I'm just talking out my ass here, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, tell me what you guys think of the Halo series. I love the last two games a lot more than the other three games. Um, that's just my personal opinion. I just think they're so much more emotional than following around Master Chief. I also like Halo Wars a lot. Um, good RTS. I remember my first game online and I kicked a lot of ass. Uh, it took a long time though. I think it took me like 40 minutes to beat that game because uh, the guy kept building scarabs and I kept build, building the super duper pelicans, I forget what they're called, and oh man, that was a pain in the ass, I finally beat him. But anyways, it's been 11 minutes, 16 seconds, it's currently 2.18 a.m., April, May 23rd. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, it's been Zach with 1918 British Air Force. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, dance, I don't really give a fuck, uh, but thanks for watching overall.